Hi everyone, and welcome again to Nettle, the go-to place to learn about business, finance, economics, and much, much more. My name is Saba, and in this short video from the Excel 101 series, we'll investigate three key central tendency measures, three key means, that is, arithmetic, geometric, and harmonic, discuss their mathematics, as well as their Excel implementation. Here we have got some example variable with seven observations, it can be any variable at all, and here are the three means that we might want to calculate for it. The simplest is the arithmetic mean, that is just the sum of all observations divided by the count. And we'll need the count for all of our three means, so let's calculate the count of all seven of our observations, given us seven quite intuitively. And the mathematics uh, of the arithmetic mean would be the sum of our observations divided by their count. In Excel, this can be implemented using the average function, and we can easily see that both give you exactly the same result. The geometric mean is the multiplicative mean that uses products instead of sums, and it uses a root or a power 1 over n instead of simple division. So for geometric mean, we can use the product function multiplying all of the elements, all of the observations together, and then finding the nth root, where n is our count. The easiest way to implement it in Excel is to raise it, so the carré symbol, shift 6, to the power 1 over the count, so 1 over 7. That gives us the geometric mean, and in Excel it can be implemented using the geomean function. And it's not uh, a coincidence that, that the geometric mean is lower than the arithmetic mean. It stems from the mathematical properties of these two expressions, and the only instance where those would be equal is when all of the observations are the same, and we'll be able to verify that later on after we tackle the harmonic mean. The harmonic mean is an odd one out. It is the number of observations, the count in the numerator, divided by the sum of the inverses of the variables, or the sum of their reciprocals. So we can divide the count by the sum of the inverses, so 1 over the variables. We can enforce that and get a harmonic mean of 2.5979, which is lower than both the geometric mean and the arithmetic mean. And in Excel, this can be implemented using the harmean function, referring to just your data as usual. And we see how the mathematical implementation and the Excel built-in implementation matches, and we can see this inequality between the three means. The arithmetic mean is always not lower than the geometric mean, the geometric mean is always at least as high as the harmonic mean. And the only instance where all three match is when all of our data is exactly the same. All of our variables are equal to each other. And as soon as at least one of the observations is different, for example, if this observation is equal to three, then the inequality persists. And that is all you need to know about arithmetic, geometric, and harmonic mean to apply them in Excel and to know their underlying properties. Please leave a like on this video if you found it helpful and stay tuned for even more content in the Excel 101 series.